All right, so we're going to talk about metallic bonding. Uh, we know when a metal and a nonmetal come together, they make an ionic bond, um, a, a, ratio of, um, a ratio of ions. We know when two nonmetals come together, they make a covalent bond, meaning, and they make molecules. But what happens when two metals come together? Well, they actually do metallic bonding. Um, and so what actually what it looks like when, is when these metals come together, um, and it can be just one particular metal, doesn't necessarily have to be two different metals, it's just metals are together. What actually happens is they actually lose the identity of those electrons, and the positively charged nuclei are then sharing their electrons amongst everybody. So that's where you've heard the term C of electrons and delocalized electrons, because their electrons don't belong to a particular atom, they actually belong to the whole metal. So um, when you look at these negatively charged these negative, like, negative charges of these electrons, they're actually being shared amongst all these guys, okay? So this is what gives it its unique uh, chemical, chemical properties, is that these flow of electrons, are the electrons are constantly moving and being shared amongst all these positive um, nuclei and metals. So um, that might give us the reason why melting point is pretty reasonable. Um, they're actually, all the melting point is doing is just making it more um, fluid and making it more into a liquid shape. Um, so these electrons, these cations and and the, negative, and the negative electrons are able to be moved um, into a liquid pretty reasonably. Uh, 232 degrees Celsius is the, is the melting point for tin. However, the boiling point, or making tin into a gas, is extremely high comparatively, 2,623 degrees Celsius. The boiling point is going to be really high because in boiling point, they're just separating out to become a gas. So all these positive charges are actually being separated completely out from each other and making a big gas, and that's really difficult to do um, because these negative charges are holding it all together. Um, because these negative charges are there and they're flowing, um, their metals are very good conductors of electricity. Um, we know electricity is a flow of electrons, and these, this is basically this is a flow of electrons. So as you would expect, that they are very good conductors of electricity. Also, um, they're very malleable, meaning that they can be hammered into sheets. So that's why you've had like thin sheets of metal, um, because these guys can just move around and rearrange themselves pretty quickly and pretty easily. Um, also, they can be made into wires, meaning that they're ductile. Um, that's why you've seen a lot of metal, wi metal wires, which is really good for actually passing on electricity. So pretty much um, that is all there is to do with uh, metallic bonding.